hello and welcome along to Diecast Restos for this restoration of a Matchbox 56A London Trolleybus. It was produced by Lesney from 1958 to 1965. All were painted red, had a black base plate and had painted poles on the roof which were initially black and then later red. All sides apart from the base and roof had decals applied. This is one that matches the specification I'll be restoring to. And here is a British United Traction London trolley bus that it is based on. It is in fact running the same route as the decals on the model, number 667. The casting is constructed with a tongue and slot at the front and a split rivet at the back. Disassembly is straightforward enough. The axle ends were crimped on all metal wheel versions, then later rounded on the grey, silver and black plastic wheeled variants. The rooftop poles were riveted on. It's interesting that the trolley bus remained in production until 1965 as the last real trolley bus travelled through London in May 1962. Aside from museums, there are no trolley buses operating in the UK. The last service was in the Yorkshire city of Bradford in March 1972. Trolley buses had operated in London since 1931 and for much of its existence boasted the largest trolley bus system in the world. Now though it is time to remove my trolley bus's patchy red paint. The casting is based on a British United Traction 9641T trolley bus. BUT were a joint venture between bus manufacturers AEC and Leyland in 1946. Neither company had produced trolley buses since the early years of the Second World War. It was agreed that AEC would design and produce the UK market vehicles, while Leyland would take care of the export market. The 9641T trolley buses were built from 1947 to 1956 for eight operators across England. The first vehicles completed were for export to Johannesburg and were built in Leyland's factory in Ham, London. Production moved to AEC Southall and Leyland's Leyland based factories in 1948. AEC then moved production north to Stockport following the acquisition of Crossley Motors in 1948. Trolleybus production began to reduce in the 1950s. BUT wound down in 1964 following a final batch of buses destined for Wellington, New Zealand. In 1954, it had been announced that all trolley buses in London would be replaced by diesel buses, except for post-war vehicles, which were expected to be run until 1970. This coincided with the introduction of AEC's iconic new Routemaster bus. Most of the post-war trolley buses were exported to Spain after they were discontinued. The destination decals fitted to the 56A matched that of a genuine route. Route 667 ran from Hammersmith in West London over the Thames to Hampton Court in South West London, a distance of just over 10 miles by road. Hampton Court is listed on the front decal, while Chiswick, Kew and Brentford are all listed on the side and rear decals. Today, this route by road passing through these locations is about 13 and a half miles. Here I am fitting that decal. The main side advertising decals are for Pear Drax Sparkling Drink. It is a pear flavoured soft drink which was first manufactured in Devon in the UK in the 19th century. It was discontinued in the UK in the late 80s, but continues to be produced by Pepsi for Trinidad and Tobago where it is popular. As well as the destination board for Hampton Court, the front decal has OXO on either side of it. OXO is a brand most famous for their stock cubes or bouillon cubes. The brand name was trademarked in 1899 after Liebig's Extract of Meat Company began promoting it in 1866. The company continues to this day and also lends its name to the OXO Tower in London, which was bought up by Liebig's in the 1920s. It was rebuilt to an Art Deco style in the late 20s. Now though, I reconstruct my trolley bus by slotting in the front tab first, then lowering the rear over the split rivet, and force it secure. This is how my 56A London trolley bus looked to begin with. The base was not secured properly, so the front has a raised appearance. 
It was missing its rooftop poles and four of its five decals. It's also looked to have been painted over in red at some point in its life. I'll leave a link in the description to the reproduction poles and decals, both of which are very good, particularly the decals. So here is how my trolley bus has been transformed. The decals are very accurate to how the original buses would have appeared. They are crisp and clear despite the destination lettering being very small indeed. The reproduction poles are made up of quite malleable material, meaning they can be moved around and adjusted to suit my roofline. The bright red shade really sets this trolley bus off once more. I'm really happy with it. The metal wheels brushed up well and the axle ends typically have been coated in chrome. I've been doing more and more simple restorations recently, fitting them into my free time while I've been renovating my new house. But it's been a real pleasure going back to basics. If you've enjoyed this one, leave me a like and most importantly, subscribe. If you at all can, help support the channel on Patreon. Thank you to my existing supporters. All that leaves me to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.